Hey, First Tee family, Coach Jimmy Beers here. Happy Monday. Our stay at home golf lesson number five. Today is a birdie lesson called Dealing with Challenges. And we're going to use an acronym called STAR uh, during our lesson today to teach our kids how to deal with challenges, especially now with today's challenging times. So, our golf skill to use today is going to be chipping. Uh, we're going to use a golf fundamental of the club face and ball contact. And our factor of influence will be the club direction and impact. So whether the ball goes to our target, or if we miss over here to the right, or if we miss over there to the left. So our life skill today is gonna to be resilient skills. And we're gonna teach the kids how to be resilient right now with today's challenging times. Uh, we're gonna teach the kids how to have confidence in making their own decisions. And we're gonna teach that through STAR. So confidence being our core value today and dealing with challenges, our lesson plan, and our healthy habit today is gonna to be using our mind. It's gonna be very important to use our mind during STAR. So before we hit any golf shot, let's turn it over and get a little workout with Neil Hausch and Connor over at Golf Fitness Plus. Neil, take it away. Hey everybody, Coach Neil here in our fitness facility, Golf Fitness Plus, and I'm here with Connor, and Connor's gonna show us another warm up, right, for our program and our exercises. We're doing mobility and flexibility. We call these windmills, all right? This is a great way to get warmed up to play baseball or golf or even hockey or tennis. So Connor is going to put his arms way out to the side. Go ahead, Connor, put your arms out a little wider like that, arms out to the side. And we're going to make big turns. Just show me big turns, big turns. Everything's got to turn. Everything's turning. Good. Now, he's going to bend over about halfway, and he's going to make big turns this way. Good, and now he's gonna put his feet a little wider, and he's gonna try and put his nose right down to the ground and make turns there. And now come up a little bit more right there and turn, and all the way back up. So we go from standing to our golf posture, and we bend from our hips, and we get really stretched out in our upper body. Try this exercise at home. Awesome, thank you, Neil. So today's golf skill of chipping, I set a target up of 15 yards away. During our golf skill, you can use a basket, a bucket, or if you have a golf net, either of those would be great. So I set up a teeing area, make sure the ball is behind the tee markers, and we're gonna hit one chip shot to the basket and see what happens. Okay, so I hit it a little bit long and to the right. So we're gonna use star Okay, now that I use star for my first shot, stop, think, anticipate, respond, I switch targets now and I'm using a bucket. I've made my challenge a little bit more difficult with our lesson plan dealing with challenges. So let's try it again. A cue for chipping is to make sure that our swing rhythm is the exact same speed on our back swing and our follow through. Oh, hit the bucket. Didn't go in, but hit the bucket. That gives Coach Jim some confidence, right, Tula? Anyway, I'm um, using resilience skills there, making my own decision. So, star, stop. Stop after you hit a shot. Take a deep breath. Think. Think about what you just did. Think about what you could do better. Anticipate. Anticipate how you can make that shot better. If you hit a great shot like that, anticipate doing it again. And lastly, respond. Respond by making the right decision with what you want to do on your next shot. Okay, now I'm going to hit our last golf shot. I switch targets now to a golf net. If you happen to have a golf net, great. You can use any target around your house for this drill. As I go to my last shot, our last cue is going to be make sure when you swing the club, that the bottom of the club or the sole of the club rushes the grass when we hit our chip shots. That helps loft the ball up into the air. So one more shot. Okay, so Coach Jim missed a little long into the right again. So I'm going to stop, think about what I did, anticipate and respond as I keep going. During our golf skill today, I want you to hit 20 balls. I want you to use star each time during that. Read about STAR in our lesson plan a little more, and then you can play a game with this. You can have a game with your partner where you each take a turn hitting a shot and see who gets the first one in, or you can play the game by yourself. Try it each day and see if you can score more points each day as you get better gaining confidence. Uh, thanks again to Neil House and Connor for our warm-up. Thanks again for Tula for helping me out, even though she's chasing the squirrelies right now. 
and uh, we look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's lesson.